Hello, today we are fixing your disgusting collapsing fourth finger forever. Let's just get rid of that thing, shall we? Let's go. Don't you hate that feeling when your fourth finger is constantly collapsing on you? That look of a disgusting looking finger on your beautiful fingerboard? Well, thank you, my child. I made them by hand. <laughs> Don't you cringe when you see it on other violins as well? The helplessness, the lack of control, there is no way you can vibrate with that thing? Well, worry no more, because today I will reveal to you the cure for all of that. What are you selling, Mr. Snake Oil? All my students who ever had this issue were able to resolve it within 5 minutes, just because it's so easy. Once you understand what it's about, you will never have a collapsing fourth finger ever again. Pinky promise. No corny. First I'll give you some advice on the left hand position in general, how you can avoid all of that in the first place and also how to make the fourth finger more accessible, especially for all of you with your small hand excuses. I've always had people say, Donald you have the most beautiful hands. So let's dive into this. The left hand is slightly turned in sideways like this, like a guitar player almost, so that the fingernails are looking off to the side, past your face to the left and not really looking at you. I like to keep the entire left hand very low in relation to the fingerboard. It almost appears that the fingers are hanging on the fingerboard, but that's actually not the case because the thumb is supporting everything completely. There is no hanging whatsoever. The thumb is pushing from below, but the fingers are just quite low on the fingerboard. That kind of very low setup also allows him to play with very flat fingers, which is great for both intonation and vibrato. If you have your fingers all the way by the scroll, it's hard to reach the f But if you turn in a little bit, and especially if you reach back with your first finger, and then position everything a bit higher, you see the four fingers right here, whereas if you play like this, you have to reach way higher to actually reach a fourth finger. See the difference? That's why I like the back of the hand pretty flat, because my first finger is reaching back and then everything is sort of right here, and the knuckles are actually quite close to the fingerboard. This makes the fourth finger much more accessible, you see it's right there. Whereas if I were down here, it's tough. Now there's something to be said about building strength in your fourth finger, but I don't think it's nearly as big a deal as you may think it is. Rather than thinking of it as strength, I think it's really training the finger to understand how you place it on the fingerboard in order to avoid the collapsing in the first place. This will take you just a few days to get used to it, maybe even just a few hours if you're violinistically already in a very good place. Once you have mastered the left hand position that I was just talking about, and you are also violinistically in good shape, let's talk about the key to a rock solid fourth finger. Drum roll please. Can anybody guess? It's the angle at which your fourth finger hits the fingerboard. When I'm going straight down like this, the fourth finger is gonna collapse, there's just no, no avoiding it. It collapses right away, there's just no resistance at all, you see that? There's no resistance there, see that? Right away. Finally the swinging road and the suspension cables give way and plunge into the water below. But if you angle your finger a little bit and you turn it sort of this way and you lean on the outer edge of your finger, I'm angling it, I'm leaning on the outer edge of the finger, there's like a curve to it that goes sideways and around. Look at the structural strength now. It's nice and around and I can press really hard. See that? It's this. It's the leaning on the outer edge of the finger. This collapses, this doesn't. And you can vibrate, you can do anything with it. The finger is gonna be rock solid. It's never gonna let you down. Some may need to roll their fingers a bit more, some a bit less, but I think this is the secret to all of it. And now it all comes together, this information. You see the turning of the hand, makes it easier to roll this way. The accessibility of the fourth finger by reaching down with your first or your whole hand can be a bit higher. If you have a small hand sort of leaning more this way, you see all of that stuff, it all comes together. I also like to use the table hanging test. So let me show you what I mean. This is a great way to explore it as well. You see, straight on with the finger is completely straight, collapses right away. But if I go sideways, Strength, rock solid, I can vibrate the hell out of this. It's never gonna collapse on me. I hope this video was helpful to you. If so, let me know in the comments below. And if it wasn't, still let me know in the comments and share with our little violin playing community what you think is a better solution that would help you. 
Also, if you would like to take private lessons with me, there's a contact link in the description below. Happy practicing. May the fourth be with you. See you in the next one. Bye bye.